What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Eduardo Rodriguez, who had four Ks in six innings, giving up three runs. He picked up Ks on his fastball cutter in this low changeup. He outdueled Carlos Rodon, who had four Ks in three and two-thirds innings, but gave up seven earned runs. He had this fastball and this sliders, including this elevated slider to Baez. But let's be honest, getting Baez to whiff on a slider isn't all that big a deal. Ryan Nelson had three Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up a run and had these fastballs, including this painted fastball. Max Fried had four strikeouts in six innings, giving up three earned runs. He had this 97-mile-an-hour fastball and this filthy changeup. He outdueled Adam Wainwright, who had four strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, giving up six runs, and had this elevated two-seamer. And then poor Waino threw this near-perfect curveball to Ronald Acuna Jr. I mean, look at this, just below the zone, and Acuna somehow hits this ball out. And you can see Waino mouth, wow. I mean, I might have said, holy sh**, but wow does it. Brent Strom once told me, no one hits a good curveball, but he never pitched against Ronald Acuna Jr., Cal Quantrill had six Ks in six scoreless innings and giving up only three hits. His stuff looked really good. He had this fastball, this dirty curveball, and then this elevated 12-6 curveball that forgot to six. Going all the way to the backstop, y'all didn't have to show the pitch tracker after that. That's just mean. Ryan Pepio was outstanding yesterday with three strikeouts and seven innings, giving up only one hit. He was perfect through six and two-thirds in this game. He didn't pick up a ton of whiffs, only 10, and 5 were on his changeup, which looked really good. Here are a couple of overlays to show you how he used his changeup. Here's an overlay of a fastball and a changeup, and you can see how they tunnel, and then that changeup fades out of the plane of the fastball. Next, here's a slider in changeup, and you can see how those pitches cross on the way to the plate, messing up a hitter. Pepio faced Braxton Garrett, who was solid with 4 strikeouts and 3 and 2 thirds innings, giving up only 1 run but he gave up three walks, which ran his pitch count up. Garrett had his wicked sliders working, including this backdoor slider, as well as these nasty cutters. Zach Littell had four Ks in eight innings, giving up only one run. He had these fastballs, including this paint-ish fastball. He also picked up a K because Ford called two timeouts and one at bat, which isn't allowed, giving him an auto K. Very exciting. Littell also benefited from this ridiculous play. And by ridiculous, I mean this base running. I've never seen this. This is a routine foul ball to the infield. And what the f*** is Rojas doing? I've coached all levels of baseball, and I haven't seen this even at coach pitch. I texted our former high school coach, who I was pitching coach for, and asked him what he would do if a player did this, and he said it would be backward poles till they puked. Just amazing. Littell battled yesterday's co-filthiest starting pitcher, Luis Castillo. I'm going to give him a tie with Ryan Pepio because of Pepio's six and two thirds perfect innings. Castillo was really good with eight strikeouts and six scoreless innings. He had 17 whiffs this game, nine of them on his heater, and had this Expelliarmus fastball, which may have resulted in the longest bat toss of the season so far. Look at the launch angle on that baby. And if you didn't know, Luis Castillo's fastball has the second best run value in the American League. First is Garrett Cole. Castillo also picked up this Jiffy Lube special on three changes and also got a side of sword. Here's an overlay of Castillo's low fastball, which was called a strike, and how he used that gift strike call to set up this low slider. He tunnels it in the same plane as that low fastball that was called a strike, but the slider dips even further out of the zone and gets the whiff. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Isaiah Campbell had these fastballs and wicked sweeper. Pierce Johnson had these heaters. A.J. Minter had this changeup and fastball. Will Vest had these fastballs. Hayden Wesneski had this wicked sweeper. Andres Munoz had this fastball and slider combo. Kevin Ginkle had these wicked sweepers. Evan Phillips had these vicious sweepers. And my filthiest reliever of the day yesterday was Matt Brash. Look what he did to Randy Rosarena. He gets him the duck on that knuckle curve that ends up in the middle of the plate, clipping the top of the zone. And then he obliterates poor Randy with these vicious sliders. 
totally outmatched. And now my pitching ninja moment of zen. Dude, you had one job. Maybe don't casually chuck a fair ball into the stands. It's back to Ball Boy Academy for you, sir. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are three-leg parlay. I'm going to start with Ayuri Perez for 6Ks or more, then take Kyle Bradish for 6Ks or more, and top it off with Kodai Senga for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be?